Sometimes in life, the best things come in three. Cows kill cancer. Don't believe me? Every year, millions of people are affected by cancer worldwide, and liver cancer alone is the sixth most common form. Every hour, 90 people die from it, and only one in five makes it to five years past diagnosis. Here's the problem. Our bodies are like dartboards, and from every drink you take to every scrap of food you eat, we're always throwing something at it. Most of the time, it doesn't make a difference, because we're only interacting with healthy cells. But when it comes to harsh anti-cancer drugs, it can be the difference between good patient outcome or side effects like losing your hair or fingernails. What can we do about this? Well, as it turns out, our body is coded in things called receptors. And these are molecules which bind to other molecules a bit like Velcro. They come in all different shapes and sizes. My research focuses on one particular receptor found only in our livers, called ASGPR, and it binds to things in patterns of three. Think of the three legs on a bar stool, or the tripod on a camera. It binds to sugars in patterns of three. And it's here that milk as a medicine really does hit the mark. Lactose is a multi-ton waste product of the Irish dairy industry, and worldwide, one in every six bottles of milk goes to waste per year. That's 88 million metric tons. It's the combined weight of every person in Europe, North and South America. But it doesn't have to be like this. My research focuses on attaching lactose in a pattern of three to anti-cancer drugs through something called a chemical linker. We then put these in the body and we see where they go. And because they only bind to ASGPR, they only end up in the liver. There, if we're clever about how we design the linker, we can cut off the free drug and release it, avoiding many of the side effects which affect patients. It doesn't even have to stop there. We can expand this to malaria treatment or hepatitis, which also affects the liver. Just a small change to the way a drug is made can make a massive difference for patient health and outcome. So, the next time you're drinking a glass of milk, I want you to raise it in a toast to a bovine bullseye against cancer. Thank you.